Listen, I'm gonna show you guys how you go from this to this with this simple and easy snake plant propagation that no one's talking about. Okay, if you're new here, my name is Jason. Welcome to my plant page. You're gonna find the best plant content on the internet. Be sure you like, be sure you subscribe. Okay, back to the video. Okay, step one, you're gonna need a snake plant cutting. All right, I can't help you with that, but say if you do, you're gonna need a cutting. Boom, we say we got a cutting. I'm not asking where you got it from, but you got one. All right, step number one. This is how we cut it. Be sure you cut it in the V. You cut it in the V. Step one. Step two that I had to find out the hard way, allow this to dry out. So if you try to put this in water right now, you're not gonna get any roots. Let me repeat myself. Allow this to dry out, meaning like hard, meaning just leave it out on the table for like maybe a day or so, so it can harden out. Learn from me. I was that guy, I cut it, put it directly in water, no roots. One week, two weeks, three weeks, frustration. So look, I'm helping you guys save so much time. Allow it to dry. So when it dries, then here's what you do next. Get you a fresh glass of water, and then you're gonna put the cutting, okay, follow me, you remember this is dried out, just for the presentation, this is dried out. You're gonna put the cutting inside water, you're gonna put it in a window seal. So you have some indirect light, okay, because it needs light, and then every single week, say it with me, change the water. We're changing the water every single week, and over time, over time, you're gonna get, oh, look at this root system. Hold on, hold on. We gotta take these out because we gotta analyze all of this goodness. Boom! Look at this snake plant root system. And we got a baby one right here. So you know what that means. It's time to repot. But wait, there is more. Look at this. Yes! Look at this. Look at this coming up. Oh, this one. Oh, yes! Last one but not least. And we got another baby on the way. So. You know what this means, it is time to repot. So you know, as an active plant dad in my plant family, I have some pre-made soil that I already had on deck, but we're gonna go over this mixture because I want you guys to follow with me and create the same composition. Okay, so I popped the top off and this is a mixture. But you know when people just name it, I like seeing bags. So I'm gonna show you exactly what is in here right now. All right, get your list ready. Number one, perlite. Don't be like me. When you're using this, be sure you use a mask. Number two, earthworm castings. This is for fertilization. This is kind of like to pimp your soil out. Number three, orchid bark. This is a staple, helps with the aeration, and this helps with the chunkiness of the soil. Charcoal, horticultural charcoal to be exact. Helps with filtration, this is a key element. Last but not least, your tropical soil mix. But you can use any potting mix. I just happen to have this on deck, tropical soil mix. Mix all of these together and you get this. So this is mixed all together pre-made. You know, plant dad, we just have it on deck. Okay, step one. I'm going to line the bottom of this with some soil because that's just what we do, okay? Number two, I'm going to measure to see how we're going to arrange our snake plants. Okay, let me get this arrangement ready. Right here, one more. And I should, I'm going to put this, actually I'm going to put this one like this. Hmm. I want them all to be facing like this. Yes. This looks good. This looks good. And you know what's next is we're going to start backfilling. Actually, I'm just going to use my hands. Sometimes it's okay. You know what? It's okay to get a little dirty. Some people be afraid of it. No, I'm not afraid of a little dirt. I'm not afraid of a little dirt, you know? Right here. Okay. 
and I'm just making sure I'm getting all the crevices, the back, the front, the side. Quick story, I bought that little potting mat off of Amazon. <laughs> Why am I not using it? <laughs> it's okay. So, as that one, one plant guy says, you gotta tap that pot, tap that pot, tap that pot. But I wanna be sure there's space in between all of them. So this one had no space. I wanna make sure there's space in between. Okay. Almost done. And I, I, you know, the purpose of this video, I want to solve the problem I had. And so now we're all on the same page because before I was like, why am I, why is my snake plant not rooting? Problem was I didn't let it dry out. So I don't want you guys to have that same issue. So now we're all gonna have propagated snake plants. Now I'm gonna say that also, this is not gonna be overnight. It's gonna take time. And depending on the lighting and the moisture and your, you know, the, the, the climate, it's gonna be a different time frame. But if you follow these steps, you're gonna guarantee you have roots just like I did. So here's my arrangement. Looks bomb, right? I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, this looks bomb, right? Jeez, I know. So, now, last step is we must water this. So I'm gonna water this and I'm gonna add it on my planter app so it's gonna be on a schedule. Number one thing a lot of people don't do is, you know, you don't put your plants on a watering schedule. So I'm gonna put this on a watering schedule and then we're done. So hopefully this helps you guys because honestly, if I wish I would've seen this video earlier. These are the simple and easy steps. Forget all the fluff on propagating a snake plant. Listen, because it's team, build a baby jungle. Operation is in full effect. We're gonna keep dropping these videos. We're gonna keep growing these plants. We're gonna keep propagating and I'm gonna keep helping you guys. So I love you guys. Peace and come in your city, come with your favorite plant. Or just look, I'm just telling y'all I love y'all. Until next time, peace.